going to Haiwan, which is our favorite ski resort in Korea. But this traffic's ridiculous right now. <laughs> Looks like it snowed a little bit on the mountains. You can see it on the peaks a little bit. This ski hill is like the, I guess the coldest and the highest, the best snow. So it, it's a lot different than last week. It'll be more like actual skiing. So that'll be fun. I'm still tired from uh, waking up early today, but once we arrive, the stoke will come. Haiwan Ski Resort is located in Cheongseonggun in Gangwon-do, close to Taebaek City. It takes about 3 hours by car from Seoul if the traffic situation is okay, and about 4 hours if you take a bus there. It's famous for having the only casino out of 23 in Korea where Koreans are allowed to gamble at. The casino is called Gangwon Land for those that are curious. The drive to Haiwan is really scenic with beautiful mountains and small villages along the way. It feels relatively untouched compared to many spots in Korea, and in our experience it has some of the cleanest air in all of Korea. Although our ski season started last week in Yongpyeong, this truly felt like the beginning of the ski season because we both love skiing at Haiwan. Okay, we made it to the uh, parking lot. Now we gotta walk like a kilometer <laughs> to get there. Oh, get on one. Okay, done. Uh, Sam, there must be a better way <laughs> to get there. Get up here, and you gotta remember your phone. So you gotta call that number. Here, first of all, I'm going to take a look at the first one. 등록을 처음 하는 날은 스키 밸리 그쪽으로 가야 돼서 저희는 지금 등록을 못 하고 우선 밥을 먹고 곤돌라로 내려가거나 아니면 스키를 스키를 못 하잖아. 곤돌라를 타고 내려가도록 할게요. There's also a, you have to wear helmets to ski here. If you don't have a helmet, you can just rent one for free. So Eugene's brother hooked us up with the yeah. two helmets, luckily. Eugene's got all these cool stickers. Ghetto helmets. <laughs> There's a fried chicken fast food place called Mom's Touch in Korea. When I first got here, there weren't that many options. So it was definitely number one. But uh, looks Gosh, like Mr. Huh. Pizza and Quiznos are closed. Yeah, we just ordered our food. It's gonna take 15 minutes. So we're going to register our <laughs> season pass. Oh, season pass. You don't have to uh, like wait in line and talk to anyone to register your Handprint. You didn't skip in the line right there. Big card there. If you buy an X3 pass, just register one time, and after that, at any resort. Oh, it doesn't matter what mountain you go to. It's like the same system, so you're you're solid. Let's go eat. Bigo Baba, should it be painful? You can tell just a shape. Dig in. Finally made it to start shredding. <laughs> been about two hours since we've been here, I think. That's our style. So you can see down there, there's the beginner run open. And then there's this one intermediate run open up here. So it's two total. A lot longer than last week at uh, Yongpyeong probably like twice or three times the length so the laps are a lot better and the snow is better it snowed a little bit last night so it's looking good there's a lot of people so i won't be able to go straight but i'll just uh see how long it takes from top to bottom a little warm-up run Go 
definitely more of a actual slope here. It's a fun run. Fun to warm up and get the legs back in shape. I got hot yesterday. What the fuck? Warn me. Can I can sense it? Can it? Just skip him and Oh, not off. If you have an X3 pass right now or you're looking to go for some decent early season skiing or snowboarding, High One is definitely the place to go to warm up and get your legs back in shape for the season. I'd strongly recommend to go on a weekday if possible though, as the run is pretty narrow meaning sometimes it's hard to avoid people. Let it rip. <laughs> so they got this uh, smart check-in service. I mean, there's people working over there, but uh, <laughs> we'll yeah, just well. do this anyways. Wait, that's so loud. Okay, so you download the app, uh, and then you got to make a ID and stuff. <laughs> so you just checked in, I think. So we're still waiting over here. So my name on our check-in is in Korean. In Hangu, uh -uh. and when I made the uh, account, I have to use my real name. Oh, they put in Injungun, Hangulo Hamianande. Can they Yano Jaso, Young Munro Hamianande? Oh, so if you're a foreigner, yeah, yeah, don't even try this system. Oh, yeah, got a little kitchen. This is not included. The chess, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> you got a little Samsung TV. Nice view. Can uh, stalk people as they come out of the lodge. <laughs> no, actually, pretty nice. Oh, which one? Oh, bathtub and <laughs> toilet. No bidet, so that's minus points, but it's okay. <laughs> That is a BC sunset where you just see the tiny bit of the pink sky, <laughs> yellow sky. <laughs> this city is called Gohan. I guess it's not a city, it's more like a little village. We have a lot of good memories here because we stayed here last year for about a month and it's really countryside. You got like the traditional houses over there and then like fancy tourist resort up there. So. I don't know what the locals think about having this big like ski resort right next to their town. Also a little tip, if you're in Korea and you want to rent here for cheap, these like random little, little ski shops that aren't connected to the mountain, they get discount lift tickets and the gear is a lot cheaper than renting it from the ski house. Yes, yeah. There we go, we got the Daisy Goblin, Kimchi, Mugen Chi, Kenyan, Samjong, Garlic. Ooh! Jam da! Wow! Oh, that place was amazing. Like the ladies in there are super nice, super friendly. It's like a traditional Korean atmosphere of <laughs> just like really nice and warm people. Mm -hmm. um, all the vegetables were super fresh. Just gotta look where we're going to because <laughs> the roads are pretty crazy. 
<laughs> Don't get run over while filming. <laughs> wow, looks so beautiful. And we got a GS25. That's the most important thing. Wow, it's so cute. I've never seen something that cute before. <laughs> <laughs>